It's midday, it's Thursday, it's 25th of October. Hello, Viva MK, for another Viva MK All Essential Business Update. It's so important that you join us for these updates. Um, and I'm so blessed and grateful that you do every single week and so many people and watch the updates afterwards because I try and give you all the news that is current in your business, in our business that we are working together and building together. Already the 25th of October. And of course, things go from strength to strength. With that, comes challenges. Of course they do. We're a growing organization. But I'll tell you something, any other company having the challenges and roadblocks and road closures that we have would not have survived the way we do because of the support that you give. We've been in this together. Look, anyone, anywhere can join any company. Of course they can and people often do. But what you've done here, you took a leap of faith and joined this brand new company and decided to grow with us. And as you grow with us, yes, you witness those growing pains. Yes, you witness those challenges. Yes, you go through everything that we are going through. But I'll tell you something, every single day we make progress. There was a time in business that I would take a step forward and a hundred thousand steps backwards. But you know, now we do take three steps forward. There's always one step back, but there will come a time when there's going to be three steps forward and that's it. And that's the way it will be. But every single week we're making progress. Every single day we're going forward. And every single day you never ever cease to amaze me with your encouragement and your support and your hundreds and hundreds of email messages that come in all the time. You know, you do ask some very bizarre things, some of you, not all of you, some of you ask some very bizarre things. No, I won't demonstrate that. No, I can't do that. No, I won't wear that. And just so you know, yes, my favorite food is sausages and curry, but very rarely together. Those are the kind of questions I get asked. I get asked a lot of business questions too, but, and I try and answer those as quick as, quick as possible. So this week I told you that we'll be bringing a brand new catalog out. That catalog was scheduled for the end of November, but after talking to one or two of our esteemed leaders who were telling me that we need um, a catalog sooner because the fresher we keep our offering, um, the more engaged the customers are, um, I took that advice. And the great thing is that conversation happened on Monday afternoon. By Monday evening, we'd managed to make the decision take the action and already moved on. We were already in a position to send that catalog to print and have it out to you week commencing 5th of November. Okay, that's only three weeks or four weeks ahead of schedule, but those three or four weeks make a huge difference. And that catalog, I've got a blurred version of it. At first I thought this was just my eyesight, but that's kind of the blurred cover. Now I'm gonna, there's going to be a special off, oh, there's fam jams on the back. I can't seem to escape fam jams. They follow me around, but there's fam jams are still on the back there, doing exceptionally well. We were one of the first people to talk about fam jams. I've noticed that many stores are talking about them. Many people, not saying we influenced that, but we still were the first to talk about fam jams when I never even knew what a goddamn fam jam was. So the new essentials a um, new edition essentials of catalog will have a special offer on the front because I think it's very important to give an offer in a uh, allow oh, encouraging the customer to open the book itself. So an offer always does that. And we'll also try and put products in there that everybody wants all of the time, not just everyday cleaning products, but we'll have things that you know are generally bought on a daily basis at a very low price price point. The thing about low price points and having offers in retail means that people will open the book. And if they open the book, then they've got access to 200 products, 60 pages. Now, as you know, I don't really want to um, 
uh, start selling these catalogs soon unless you want surplus quantities. So I'll have an incentive that you can get them free. And as I always said to you, that this year was going to be about building the foundation. And building the foundation does mean keeping our overheads low and your overheads low. So we all collectively make money. If we all collectively make money, not only will we stay engaged in the business, but we'll be able to grow the business. So that new edition essentials, 200 products, about 60 pages, week commencing 5th of November. I will have some incentives for you to be able to get those catalogs free. I hope to have them out to you week commencing the 5th, not on the 5th. So there's 200 emails I will get on the 5th saying, where are my catalogs? Not on the 5th, the week commencing the 5th. That's the first offering coming. So as I say, about 200 pages, fresh new look, fresh um, new addition, lots of new ranges in there, um, some bike ranges, some car ranges, but some other products that people want to buy every single day, lower price points to encourage people not to just open the book, but to browse through the other 200 pages, plus an offer on the front, which hopefully will entice people to open the book, because what you want is people to open the book, buy the offer, see the low price points, and then delve into the other 200 products and be interested and excited by those and hopefully buy more. It's a very simple retail selling process. About prices, I know many of you people mention prices and I've tried to explain to you that whilst we are so small and whilst we are growing, our sourcing isn't as international as big conglomerates have. One day we will get there. So there will be times when things do seem that they may be overpriced or slightly more exp expensive. That's something I'm very, very aware of because I'm very wary that we don't kill the offer. You have to make the offer, create the offer and get people engaged. You can't just kill the offer. So we'll constantly keep working on that. Look, we're only a few months old, like I keep telling you. There might be people watching now that don't realize, you know, it's only been a handful of months. We, you know, we only started selling in the middle of July and we're, we're just at the end of October now. So new big, um, essentials, new edition uh, in the beginning of November. Then of course there is the uh, other catalog, the new beginnings catalog, which really is another step forward for us. The new beginnings catalog will be again a new look, a fresh look, different kinds of products, really trying to hone in on those price points to try and engage customers into buying what we have. But not just buying what we have, to re-engage with you because you know as well as I do, it's not so much about the products. It's not so much about what we offer as a company. It's about you, the distributor. The relationship is you with the distributor, uh, you with the customer. That's the relationship. That's the power of our business. You know, it doesn't matter what company you're in or what you do, the power that you have in your connection, whether it's online or whether it's on the doorstep, is the power of our business. But if we can offer more, that makes that power even stronger. So New Beginnings Catalog will be more towards the end of November. So you'll have four weeks or so of the new additions. You've still got the Christmas catalog running. We've just given you a bedding flyer. If the bedding flyer works, we'll try and put more things into that format so you can constantly update your packs and update your offering. So the New Beginnings will be towards the end of November. Um, and that may be the the first week of December or so, but that will again be a bigger catalog, more products, and a huge outlook into 2019 because you've got to start people looking forward. You know, I think you get to the beginning of December and people have already had a lot of Christmas and they want to look forward. Now, my biggest challenge to them, I'll be straightforward and I'll be honest with you, has been the personalized catalog. We're still working on it. I promise you, third week of October miserably failed on that. And the reason I failed because I didn't want to offer you a catalog that had limited pro um, limited availability in it. The last time, the last, uh, last thing I ever want to do is to give you something, you know, give you a brand new catalog and, you know, it's 50% out of stock or still not come in or still not available or still waiting to come in. I can't do that. So I have had challenges. That's not the only challenge with that. So I'm still working on that. I haven't forgotten that. Miserably failed on my deadline. I apologize for that, but I'm still working on it. 
So you have the new bedding flyers that everybody's getting 50 in every order. We've got 100,000 flyers. That's 2,000 packs of 50. We'll keep fulfilling those. That's first come first serve. There's still quite a few of those left. Um, the bedding seems to be selling like uh, amazingly. So it's doing very well, whether it's online or at the doorstep, it seems to be working. I'll introduce more flyers if those a type of flyers work. Um, you know, like I've always said to you, it's about open and honest communication. You're open and honest with me, sometimes too honest. Um, sometimes the things you say are quite amazing and quite bizarre at the same time, but that's okay. It's open and honest communication. I've given you my personal email, email address many times. You can have it again. It's mk to vivamk.com. I don't care what you want to communicate about as long as we have this open and honest communication. And when things are going good, we will recognize that. You know, we had an incredible October, so much recognition. We will recognize that when individuals and teams are doing that, we will recognize that. But I'll also tell you when things aren't right, I'm not going to cover those things up. There was a time in a business I worked in the past where negativity, that was treated as negativity, but it's not. Things going wrong is not negativity, it's a reality. And you have to share that reality with the people that are your business. Look, I am not the business. Viva MK is not the business. You are the business. And if I can't share reality with you, then I can't share it with anybody. And by sharing that reality, I hope you feel that you are partnered with us in this organization and that we can work it together. And, you know, I've tried to stay abreast of all the challenges we've had and can constantly communicate them to you. And I just need you to know that any decision you ever see or anything that ever happens, I kid you not, is done with distributors interest at heart it categorically is because i know as well as you do that there is no business without you so everything we do even though sometimes it might look quirky it might look odd it may not make any sense at all always remember that whatever it is we've done it and said it with you in mind because i know and i've known for years that our business, like I keep saying today, is all about you. I can't stress that enough. And that's the big difference that I want to make in Viva MK and compared to so many other businesses that don't put their people first. I have to put the people first. It's the people that got us where we are today. And I can't ever forget that. Not now, not ever, never, ever. Like I've always used to say, not just now, but years ago, the business revolves around people. You are the business. So, you know, if you are jarred or put out by anything that I do or I say or I put in writing and you don't understand it, um, that's fine, but always at first try to understand there's got to be a reason behind it. Yes, I'll do things wrong and I'll get them wrong, but there's always a reason behind what I'm doing, like the personalized flyer not being available yet, the personalized catalog not being available yet. The reason is uh, I've given you the reason. I can't give you a catalog that's got limited stock availability within it. I can't do that. It's not an area I want to go into. Look, my goals for this business are quite lofty. You know, this time next year, October 2019, I want 10,000 active people in the organization. Our numbers are already in excess of 5,000. They're not all active. No business ever does have full activity. You have to get the thousands in to get the percentage that are then active. So in one year's time, I want 10,000 people that are active in this business. Now that means a phenomenal revenue for this organization. You know, we've already gone over that million mark. Um, I'll tell you now, you know, when you look at retail and when you look at the world today, economically, it's not doing so brilliant. You know, there was a sad news of Debenhams today having to close many, many of their stores because of terrible profits. You know what happened in our previous business? Things in retail don't already always go well. So what we've achieved together in just a matter of months against all adversity, against all the criticism, against all the people said that we couldn't do it, against every clown out there that tried to stop us doing what we were doing, we still got there, we're still moving, we still progress, and we're 
still creating waves. It wasn't so much of a wave, we created a tsunami, so much so that big organizations are having to change the way they work. I won't mention any of the names, but they're changing the way they work to try and compete with a small business like ours. You know, we're not in it to compete. We're not in it to win. We just win it in it to be the best version of what all the companies try to be. That's what we're in it for. I couldn't care less about competition or winning. I'm not a winner. I'm, I'm not even competitive. What I am is somebody who wants to create the best version. That I can never give up on. That is where I compete with myself all of the time. So, you know, in just a matter of months against all that, we've created that. I truly believe that in a year we will have 10,000 active people. It's, um, you know, just think, I couldn't start this year, I couldn't dreamt that we would be where we are now with all that's happened in this roller coaster year. So 10,000 active people within a year is my vision, it is the goal, and we'll do everything we can to get there whilst constantly giving you the wide variety and offering. You know, like I said, it's a balance in business, in, in, in our kind of business. You have to have a sustainable business, you have to have that solid sustainable business and keep people engage but when it comes to engaging people it's not just our distributor network that we have to engage we have to engage our customers as well but luckily you do a lot of that because your engagement and connection is what makes the business tick and work so Yes, it's a big goal, but we will get there. So this week, I've got another Q&A coming out to you later today. You know, don't get tired of the Q&As. Always read those emails. I said that at the communication last week. And one of the reasons I said it was I felt that I wasn't uh, getting enough over to you. I constantly want you to know what's going on. So there's another Q&A today. Try and, try and always catch up with those. You know, sometimes even if you've had five emails, it might seem too much, but you're keeping abreast of what's happening in the company. And there's the first difference between us and so many organizations. They do not communicate in that way. All I ever hear is that people are kept in the dark. They're kept in the dark or only a select few ever find out. I am never going to have a business where it's just a select few that find out. It's never going to be that way. When something happens, everybody needs to know. I couldn't care less if you started yesterday or if you've been in a decade. Everybody has got to find out and be involved. So, Luckily, as you can tell, I'm not, well, not luckily, but I'm not in HQ today, which means they can't stitch me up with products. Because you know, recently, they just stitch me up with anything that comes their way. So, and sometimes without a description, I don't know what the hell the product is. I mean, uh, that, I mean, I, I'll, I'll talk more about that in a moment, but last week, that. I was given that. No description, no nothing. And I'm supposed to try and sell that. I mean, I'm not the brilliant best seller in the world, but I really didn't know what to do with that. No suggestions, thank you very much. So, as we, as you know, um, the fam jams that I've already told you about and you know about are doing exceptionally well. Um, of course, the Little Diva range, which we only launched um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I've made a decision that we're going to grow that part of the brand. I think I mentioned that last week, that we're going to grow that brand because it's already seen some amazing interest. I know at the moment it's leveled around Halloween, um, but, and the, the, you know, there's been a lot of Halloween things. I know I'm not going to wear bat wings, but the um, little Viva range, I think is really going to work for us. And we're really working on that plan to make it work for us, not just now over Halloween, but in the future. Um, so, as I, you know, like I launched a few weeks ago, I think it's going to do really well. I mean, why you would want to wear that, I don't know, but people want to, and I think they're starting to recognize the brand. But you know, we haven't even started where brand recognition is concerned. Companies take decades to get brand recognition. I mean, decades. We've only been a few months, but you know, within a year, when we do have our 10,000 active people, that brand recognition will constantly get stronger and stronger and stronger and it will become recognized and it will be synonymous with the service that you offer and of course a whole selection of quirkiness and products um, as you know Halloween is not too far away and the entire Halloween range is still um, of course growing do do make sure that you look constantly what is online because 
um, trying to increase our online offering all of the time because this is sometimes the easiest place to put products. A catalog takes weeks to go into production, weeks to print, weeks to get out to you. But when it comes to those kind of flyers from the bedding or the online offering, it's something you need to check all the time. So Viva MK Online dot com. Make sure you keep abreast of what's going on there, um, and that will see a constant flow of products coming in. Um, you know, even if it's things like these. I mean. I know, you know, I know it's, it's it's often quirky, quirkiness. I mean, gloves aren't quirky, but it's certainly quirky for me to put a pair of gloves on when it's warm in here and try and sell them to you. But you know what? These gloves have been selling very, very well. Um, I Don't ask me why. Um, they're just a pair of gloves, and that's not me trying to undersell them um, and not sell them properly, but simple things like that seem to really sell. So we're going to start looking at more, yes, we always want to look at quirky products, but we're going to try and look at more products that are everyday products that everyday people want. I think that's really important, which is my point when it came to the New Editions uh, Essentials catalogue, to have in there everyday things at a low price point that people want. Now, going back to this thing here, I mean, last week, I didn't really know what this thing was, but in respect of a very quick demonstration, for those who are still wondering what this is, I've prepared earlier a very quick demonstration. So imagine this is a little pan of mulled wine, because it's gonna be mulled wine season soon, isn't it? Yes, a pan of mulled wine. Now that's warm. Luckily, I've got gloves on. So, uh, but because I didn't have a rubber grip, I'm wearing gloves, which means that the, the handle isn't affecting me because I've got gloves on. Because you would often wear gloves in the kitchen, wouldn't you? Of course. So, what you would do with this teat thing, you would carefully um, just maneuver it so it sits on the edge of the pan. Do you see that? You oh. Do you see, do you see what's happened there? That, oh, let me just move it around to this way. Um, let me, just bear with me one second. I'm not the best at them. So, so now what you've done, what I've done is put this thing, this rubbery thing, oh, it's got it's quite snug there, onto this pan of mulled wine. It doesn't have to be mulled wine because of people that don't drink, but this pan of mulled wine. And then what you do, because if you normally try and pour, out of that, it can go everywhere. But what that enables you to do, this silicon thing here, allows you to pour the mulled wine, it's very clear mulled wine, into the glass. Voila, that's what it is. I can't remember what it's called, and I should do really, considering we're selling it, but that's what it does. And amazingly, we're selling those. People, not, when I say selling those, I know we're selling them, but we're selling quantities of those, which is just fantastic. So. I wish it wasn't more wine. So, in respect of product demonstration, now I can't always demonstrate everything because as you can see, it's a dreadful demonstration. However, um, you know, we we are gonna constantly keep putting products in. And just to show you the fam jams again, you know, this, it, it, again, they have been selling very, very well. The whole concept of a fam jam was the whole concept of a fam jam was that the entire family can sit round wearing identical pajamas whilst pouring mulled wine and wearing gloves. It's just a great concept um, that you can have just those everyday products. So I haven't got anything brand new to give you today, but you will see things regularly coming online. And one of the reasons I haven't got anything brand new to give you is because I'm not at head office. So the lovely staff at head office haven't been able to stitch me up with products that I wouldn't know what to do with. Again, please, no suggestions, because I get enough of those of what I should do with the products. So. Moving forward, today really I wanted to get across to you that we've got new catalogues coming. I do listen, I had a great conversation with a handful of leaders Monday afternoon about four o'clock by six o'clock we'd made the decision and we were ready to move on. And the great thing about having a small company like ours is that you can make 
quick decisions like that because there isn't a board of directors to go through. There isn't a huge, huge decision making process. You make a decision, you take action and you move on. It's how things happen. This business has revolved around those three statements. We've made decisions. We've took action and we've moved on, which is what we continue to do. So again, once again, thank you for your phenomenal support in everything. There's another a Q&A coming your way this afternoon, which will answer a few more burning questions. So please do watch out for that. Please keep watching out the communication. Remember the goal that I have of 10,000 active people this time next year. If we've done what we've already done, in such a short period of time, you can only imagine how we're going to go over the next year. There's no way we're not going to do anything except grow and go forward. And that only happens because of our growth in mind of constantly making decisions, taking action and moving on, the spirit that you will create, and hopefully the partnership that I'm trying to weld together that you feel your part of what we have today. Thank you, Viva K. Thank you for listening as always. And hopefully I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.